started out with the uh, trucks coming in here close to the rail. We have 1100 and plus the 2500 that we both use to tie onto the beams today to set them up there on the cap. We had to coordinate because of the small road how to get the cranes in here and position with the trucks so that we didn't hit the trucks and that we had enough clearance to set the beams up there. And we have some locations on this job that we haven't got to yet that are going to be specifically for this 2500 just because of the capacity and being able to scope in and out to get underneath the existing bridges that we have to with these beams to set them up on top of the cap. Four cameras on it which come in very handy in locations like this where you're real tight so that you can one obviously you can see your rear drum but the other is your swing and backing up when you're having to move in and out in between these caps to give room you're able to split the screen to a quad picture so that you can see all four inches at the same time. With the 1100 and the 2500 telecrawlers, we were able to knock out 16 beams within four hours. Each beam, each crane held about 50,000 on each side. Overall opinion of the 2500 is a great machine. It's very smooth, it's easy to operate, it's user friendly. The uh, multiple list chart in there comes in handy, especially in terrain like this where you may be flat one minute, the next minute you may be one, two or three degrees off. So it's a very easy machine to run and it's very user friendly as far as it's very forgiving whenever you are in tight locations and you're not perfectly flat. I love the machine. I don't want to. I don't want anybody else to touch it. But that's not my thing.